everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Diamond Championship Wrestling. I'm HD and we've got a title match for you tonight. And I'm joined with wrestling enthusiast Mr. Andrew Hansen, referee Shifty Schilling, and the man himself, Mr. Gene Miller. How y'all doing? Doing great. All right, and it's a title match. Andrew, set us up, take us away. Well, that is right. It is a championship match. The Diamond Championship Wrestling Gulf Coast Championship is on the line. The longest reigning DCW Gulf Coast Champion, Mad Daddy Duds, defending his championship against Brimstone, baby. And uh, just to kind of set the story, Brimstone, for several weeks before this, for several weeks, Beat Mac Daddy does time and time again, non-title matches, now getting a shot. Gene, how do you feel about this, just what's been going on the last few weeks between these guys leading up to this match? Well, you know, it, it, they've been good matches, you know. Mac Daddy's cheated a couple times, and then uh, Brimstone came back. Mac Daddy's worried about it, so he brought in his old manager, Dollar Bill. You can see him on I the see outside. that. Bill holding the belt. I see so, that, holding the DCW Gulf Coast Championship in hopes that He'll be giving it right back to Mac Daddy Duds here tonight. I think Mac Daddy's a little worried about Brimstone because he's you know, a bit off, maybe he's a bit off a little bit more than he can choose. Found out that Brimstone's a pretty tough character. He has beaten Mac Daddy Duds both times they've stepped in the ring together, oh. and he's looking to do the same here tonight to become the new oh. Gulf Coast champion as he takes him down. Goodness, he's going for a lock. Ankle lock locked in. Ankle lock. Uh, this, could be, this could be a quick one. Now, oh, shit, you're shilling from reference respect. Absolutely. Oh. Um, let me get your thoughts real quick. When you have a manager at ringside, especially with the likes of Mac Daddy Duds, who bends the rules, so to speak, is it almost like trying to have eyes in the back of your head, trying to make sure that the manager on the outside isn't causing any trouble? Absolutely. Plus, you got to make sure what the two wrestlers inside are doing. Exactly. So it definitely keeps you busy. And he raked the eyes of Brimstone and looks like he blinded Brimstone, if you will. Look, Brimstone. I'd be kind of worried too if I was Mac Daddy does because he's got the fire in his eyes. He's hungry, and I've seen that the past couple matches I've seen him in. Um, he's got his work cut out for him. Absolutely, he's been he's been going up and down the road this last year alone, trying to improve there himself. There we go, Dollar Bill getting yep. getting that Dollar Bill. That's in. right, Don Gravatt, white shoes out of out of position for that which worked to Mac Daddy Dud's advantage. Brimstone has held several different titles around the Gulf Coast area for several different wrestling promotions, but has yet to hold a DCW championship. He just kind of got started with the DCW again earlier this year and has had heavyweight title matches. Has, has I want to say, he may, has he ever had a Gulf Coast championship match? Or is this his first one, Gene? Well, no, no, this is, I believe, is his third match, actually. Okay, okay, so he had... Yeah, Ow. I think this is Guillotine. Yeah, that's rough. He's had the point is he's had several several title opportunities in the past. Couldn't quite get the job done, but now Rosie looking the ring. looking to do the same here tonight. And now Mac Daddy Dollar does Bill sees him. doing what he needs to do, and and Dollar Bill doing what he needs to do, I guess, to try and secure that Gulf Coast Championship for Mac Daddy Duds. That's the thing about Mac Daddy Duds. He is definitely a wily veteran. That's why he brought his manager in to give him some extra, extra uh, care to keep that belt around his waist. And let's lay it all out there. Mac Daddy Duds is the longest reigning DCW Gulf Coast champion of all time. But, you know, that, that's kind of tainted in my opinion. And just hear me out on this. Mac Daddy Duds has done whatever it takes to ensure that he can keep that championship. He's had himself disqualified. He's had his former partner, Van Vicious, be involved in his matches. As you saw here, he's had Dollar Bill and his managerial debut for DCW get involved in this match already. Mac Daddy Duds has done whatever it takes to ensure it keeps that title. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, hey, longest reign, that's a great accomplishment. But don't you think that kind of taints it a little bit? Well, you know, and you're right from the perspective of watching it, but when you look in the record books, it doesn't have all that in there. It it's says true. win, losses, who the champion is. This is true. You know, that's that's the thing. You know, Mac Daddy definitely will do cheating. And he does Here we go. Race. What is Oh, what he and missed on see, that, that was And see, that's the problem. That's the I don't think Mac Daddy does, even having lost to Brimstone in the past, is taking Brimstone so serious. Maybe perhaps he believes that he's got this match in the bag, he's got a manager ringside, he's definitely going to do whatever it takes. And he has been smart in keeping this belt. You know, 
it's like the Rocky story. You know, Rocky had the eye of the tiger until he won the championship and held the championship. Maybe now, you know, I don't know. We might see something different here tonight. Uh, Shifty, if I can get your prediction on this match. Uh, prediction? Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go with the longest reigning golf course champion, Mac Daddy Dudge. I, I, wow. I can understand that big suplex by Brimstone. Gene, do you have a prediction? Well, you know, to me, it's, it's uh, experience with the champion versus the hunger of Brimstone. Right? Hey, he was going for that super fist. I didn't mean to cut you off, but Dollar Bill pulling him out of the ring, doing what a manager needs to do. So back to you, Gene. Yep, you know. White shoes Again, all up in the way. Brimstone has definitely got some experience behind him, but not as much as Mac Daddy's. You know, he's like you said, he's been champions all everywhere else. But oh, no, Brimstone. Sooner or later, sooner or later, Brimstone is going to be a champion. I know I haven't given you the, my prediction because it, it's hard. I don't want people to think I'm I'm a favorite either one of them. They're I understand. Both, they're both very skilled at what they do. You know, one's a champion. DDT, Planet he's do Brimstone. What he can. But, you know, Brimstone's really, really hungry because he can win the belt at any time. And look at this right here. This this is not oh, even man. a cover. Now, come on. This is not even a cover. Nonchalant. Put a finger. Put a finger. Uh, nonchalant is, is, is yeah, he's got, one way he got going play. here? He's got his leg over his... Andrew, what is this? He, he was choking him with his leg. Okay. He was choking him with his leg and, and you know... Like you said, Gene, Brimstone is very hungry, but I don't know if the numbers game out here tonight is going to be – it might be too much for Brimstone. Uh, HD, do you have a prediction for this match? Um, you know, I, all i got to say is, does anybody see that money boa over there in the corner that he, that Mac Daddy Duds came out with? I have seen that money boa. Right. Um, I, I, you know what? I, Mac Daddy Duds, he's just – he always finds a way to win. And now he's got the plus one on the outside who is Dollar Bill. And – you know Dollar Bill's going to get his hands a little bit more dirty than he already has. So, I mean, i got to give it to Mac Daddy Doug. Man. This is true. And now Brimstone going up top. Top. Oh, oh, big diving wow. clothesline off the top rope. And this could do it right here. That was a big maneuver. I've never seen Brimstone do that before. Going for the One, cover. This two. could do it. No, we got a shoulder up. Man. Very close. We almost had a new champion right there. Uh, and, and again, it just goes without saying, you know, the eye, you know, eye of the tiger back. You know, Brimstone has definitely been hung. Definitely been hungry for the championship opportunity. Uh, Close line with a little bit of jumping momentum by Mac Daddy Duds, who definitely, again, as you said, Gene, has the experience going into this match. Looked like Dollar Bill just handed to Mac Daddy something because I seen him wrapping something on his head. Okay. Oh. See? Yeah, yep. Yep. Yeah, see, you know, he's such a. He I was handing it back to look at the smoothness of the sneak. It was yeah. smoothness. Very smooth for a cheater. Without a doubt. Gee, maybe this is why uh, referees should get paid by the uh, amount of participants that are in and around the ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No offense, but you're still new here. Don't be asking for a raise. That, that's, a, that's another time and another uh, Dollar place. Bill's back at it. And, and again, and again, poor, poor White Shoes Gravat. Again, just going back into it, you, know, you can't have eyes in the back of your head, unfortunately. No, no, and it just no. doesn't work that way. And, I, I personally have to commend our referees. They, I think they do an excellent job. But you know, when you're outnumbered in the ring and you got people cheating, it's kind of tough to do a, Ooh. To do a perfect job. Sky high by Mac That's Daddy Dudge. That's, That's it. That's Two it. And oh, no, he managed to get his shoulder up. His shoulder up. Very last second, but he managed to pull it off. Mac was, Daddy Dudge is not. He thought it was it. He thought it was over. Well, that was so close that when he stopped, the bat didn't even have a chance to stop. His yeah. hand did hit the mat, but his shoulder came up, and, and he did see that, so he waved it off. Exactly. He did, right he did do the right and thing. And the viewers at home can actually go back, slow mo it, check it out, and you can see that his hand was just above the mat. Absolutely. And not not quite yet, Mac Daddy Dudge. You may pull the win off here tonight, but I think it's going to take a lot more fight to do so. I don't know how much Brimstone has left in him. I mean, he's been taking a lot, a lot of maneuvers in this match. A lot of underhanded tactics. He's just been taking a lot of heat, if you will. I spoke too soon. Big clothesline by Brimstone. Almost as if it was everything he had into that clothesline. He wants this, guys. He wants it. He is showing a lot of hunger tonight. A lot of fight in him. And now, going to use them four-ounce weighted gloves. UFC gloves. Uh, UFC gloves almost to to pound the skull of Mac Daddy Dudge, perhaps setting up for that super fist fit, uh, maneuver. Oh. Bulldog by Brimstone to Mac Daddy Dudge. And this could do it right here. 
Will the longest reign in? No, not quite yet. Shoulder up is right. Dollabil is just lurking outside the ring. I have a feeling he's going to be another factor in this match. Oh, I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. And a big spear oh. by Brimstone, chopping him in half. And now both men are down. That may have been everything he had. All right. You got to keep an eye on, on my dad. He over there with his manager. Yep, this is Dollar true. Bill, you never know what they're concocting over there. Fist to the head. Big heavy shot by Brimstone to Mac Daddy Duds. Sending him off into the corner. Boom! Big splash, almost stinger splash like. Off the off the corner into another corner again. Brimstone another baby! Oh, oh and he no. hit the referee. I think Mac Daddy Duds pulled him in actually. Man, That's not good. The referee is down and now here comes Dollar Bill ready with the bell and ready to strike. This 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 is bad. This Dollar is not Bill, good. Don't do it. He don't No! He hit Mac Daddy oh. Duds out of no He Karma. missed them completely and now bumping them into each other. Dollar Bill paying for his actions in this match. Not a wrestler. And now Brimstone with the super fist! With the super fist, he's got to wake the Get referee up, up now. Get up, One, two, we've Three. got a new Gulf Coast champion. Brimstone has done it, baby. Have you been denied your Social Security disability benefit and are seeking an attorney to help with your claim? Before rushing out to hire someone, you should ask, will my case be handled by an attorney or a non-attorney representative? Does your attorney live in South Mississippi where you live? And will your attorney meet with you before the day of your case? Better yet, just contact the Turner Law Group or visit them online and let them put their experience to work for you throughout all of South Mississippi and Alabama. Hello everybody and welcome to Diamond Championship Wrestling. We have a title match. And I'm here with the man himself, Mr. Gene Miller. The man in the ring holding the belt, Mr. Shifty Schilling. Glad to be here. And wrestling enthusiast, Mr. Andrew Hansen. How y'all doing? And I'm very enthusiastic right. about this. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, We're glad to have you here. And this, not just a championship match, HD, but for the Diamond Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. This is for the big one right here. And the, the TV title. And, and the, te and oh, the television, you're right, and the television double championship. Double title oh, match. Oh, man, there's a double champion. You're right about that. Uh, television title on the line as well. You've got Steve O'Malley, the double champion, defending against Too Quick, who is wearing camouflage, so I can only assume he's ready to go to war. And Too Quick, right off the bat, flips him over. Just nice snap mare. And now you're going to see a lot of submission wrestling, I would, I would believe. Too Quick's been trying to utilize the cross face for the last few weeks, and I think you're going to see that here tonight. The question is, is will we have a new champion, or will, or will Steve O'Malley manage to pull it off? I'll tell you, there's a lot of experience in the ring between the two guys. Absolutely. They, they can wrestle with the best of them and fight with the best of them. So this is uh, actually starting off pretty good with, uh, you know, catch as catch can, as they call it. Absolutely. Uh, definitely fine. two fine wrestlers. Uh, Steve O'Malley, just to kind of set the pace Boom. for you won the television championship back in August, and then in a title unification match, defeated Charles West, albeit with some underhanded tactics perhaps, but is now the heavyweight champion. Both titles on the line here tonight, and Too Quick looking to win both. And, uh, you know, Mr. Shifty Schilling, we got a double title match in here. So, I mean, the pressure's on. Oh yes, the heat was on for this one. I can imagine, uh, man, just the magnitude of what's going on right now. Right here in Pascagoula, Mississippi, where this is located, I, you know, you can't ask for you can't ask for more of a of a big match situation right Throws here. Throws him off and boom! Shoulder tackle by Too Quick, off the ropes, setting up. Oh. Went for a hip toss. Too Quick countered nice. to his own hip toss, 
And now O'Malley eats an arm drag for his troubles and now locking that arm right back in. Gene, I want to get your thoughts on uh, Too Quick. He's got his a, hand there. A, a veteran in the business, been around for almost 20 years, uh, has been seen a lot in DCW as a tag team wrestler, former tag team champion with Alexander Overton, but now getting his shot in the main event for the heavyweight and television championship. Yeah, I was pretty excited when uh, Too Quick decided to come work for us in DCW. He's uh, known heavily more into Alabama than Mississippi, but people do know who he is. And uh -oh. He's got a lot of skills and, and a lot of aspirations to be better and you know, be a champion in DCW. I, I think he can uh, be worthy and hold the title a long time with us. Absolutely, absolutely. He could, I mean, he could become a double champion here tonight uh, against Steve O'Malley, but not to, not to count Steve O'Malley out. Uh, just the accolades in DCW alone. Steve O'Malley has held every single every single singles championship there has been to offer in Diamond Championship Wrestling. Uh, Two-time heavyweight champion, and he he's looking to keep it here tonight. Yes, he is. He uh, he loves those belts, you know. His, his ego feed, feeds on it because he loves to talk about it on when he was on his social media accounts. Absolutely. Here we go, boom! Big suplex by Steve O'Malley to Too Quick. It's like a textbook suplex. It absolutely right was, and now Shifty Schilling very nice in position. Definitely could see both shoulders. Too Quick gets him up though, and this match rolls on. Yeah, O'Malley, when he went to pin him, it's one of those uh, disrespect pins. Put that yeah. forearm across his face just right. to say, hey, I've got you down. I'm gonna beat you if I don't. Inflict a little bit of pain on you at the same time. Yes. This is true, a nice forearm by Steve O'Malley. He said his hands open, Shifty Shilling, his hands open. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was, it was. He was arguing with you, Shifty. And nice clothesline into the corner. Too quick crumbles Ooh, wow. down into the mat. And, you know, this, you know, the slow and methodical pace that Steve O'Malley enjoys in order to wear an opponent down, to get them exactly where he needs to be, to just break them apart limb by limb, and as a result, get a win over them. Yeah, well, is not the biggest guy in the world in the heavyweight uh, division here that we have. It's pretty open. But uh, like you said, Andrew, he, uh, he loves to wear a wrestler down. A lot of joint manipulation. A lot of pressure on that, so that too quick wrestling. with his own with his own trying to counter counter. Yeah. And Mally used the ropes to you know get out of it. Yes, he did, and and you know just again, yes, he he's not the biggest wrestler, but I mean to be a former, be a current two and two time heavyweight champion, current television champion, former uh, Gulf Coast light heavyweight champion, and cruiserweight champion. or cruiserweight oh. champion. Uh, he, he's, he's held all the singles titles that, that DCW has offered, and he definitely has a big future and, and definitely a big present right now with, with being both those champions. Yeah. Used a kind of underhanded tactic right then to get over on too quick. Quick was trying to get in the ring, and O'Malley kicked the ropes. That's the second time he's let him into the ring and was right there waiting for him to come in. This is a wily true. veteran. It's true. You definitely got oh. two two veterans that have been involved in the business around the same time. So slap to the face. He did, and O'Malley O'Malley definitely you can see the look on his face taking that shot. Slap oh, the sense out. Of him. Nice chop to the chest. That's what Too Quick is best known for. He is some of the heaviest chops in the Gulf Coast. Will wear a man down. And now O'Malley counters big clothesline by Steve O'Malley to Too Quick. For the pin. Go for the cover. Let's do it right here. Kick out by Too Quick. And a nice job. He by was Too Quick. Shifty. Yeah, nice Good job, position. Shifty. You know, what's your thoughts, Shifty, when you go into a, a, a double championship match like this, just this magnitude? Well, actually, I was a little injured from a previous match. Uh, I think somebody stomped on my foot. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So I was limping around. So uh, my main concern here was to during every maneuver to make sure I was going to be there to make sure the pin was going to be counted. Exactly, exactly. As you saw, Too Quick is countered, going for armbar perhaps to set up for that cross face, but O'Malley is now is now countered, I should say. And uh, O'Malley's got the grappling thing. A down. lot of counter wrestling by these guys. A whole lot of counter wrestling. You know, you're gonna you're gonna see that between these two. Definitely, I would, you know, I would say they're they're definitely technicians. Yeah, 
You know, if you look on the billboard, it says wrestling. Absolutely. So, wrestling. No Diamond no Championship Wrestling. No matter if you punch, kick, scratch, gouge your eyes out, you can always take the guy down oh. to the wrestling hole because that's, that's the easiest way to do it. You revert back to your roots. That's right. And Steve O'Malley just did with a nice back elbow to too quick as he was coming off the ropes. And now, once again, nice locking hold. Locking it in. Locking it in with, with vigor and hostility. Yes. Very well said, Andrew. And he likes to, O'Malley loves to inflict pain. And you know, he's, it doesn't have to cheat to do it. You look at him now, he's got a rear chin lock on him. Puts a lot of pressure on the head, the neck, and the, and the spine. Absolutely, and Too Quick is, you know, looking worse for wear right now without a shadow of a doubt. Probably sitting there in the midst of things, just trying to think, how can I get out of this? You know, what, what ways have I got out of this in the past? And just gonna figure out a way. And it looks like he may have just done that. Kind of turning out. And now shots to the abdomen oh. and jawbreaker by Too Quick to the jaw of Steve O'Malley. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, once, alley. once again, this is for the Diamond Championship Wrestling Heavyweight and Television Championship. Double title match, one fall to a finish. And Too Quick, nice counter! Oh. Nice counter by Too Quick, just planting Steve O'Malley down to the mat. Now both men are down. What that, would you call that move right there, Andrew? That was almost like a flatliner, if you will. And just, he, he planted Steve O'Malley and you know, that may have been all he had. You know, O'Malley has spent the, the better part of 10, 15 minutes just wearing Too Quick down in this championship match. Looks like Too Quick was trying to get the crowd behind him so he could feed on, uh, feed on their adrenaline. Exactly. Here we go. Nice clothesline by Too Quick. O'Malley getting right back up to another one too by Too Quick. And they call him too quick for just that reason. Uh -oh. He's quick. Not quick enough. Oh! Big clothesline, almost like it could have been an STO even, by Steve O'Malley. Shoulders up though by too quick. Yep. Shit to tell him it was only two. It was only two. Yeah, they like to argue with me about it sometimes. You can plainly see his opponents got his shoulder up, but they still yeah, want that, to argue. Yeah, they, it's just their way of being desperate to want to win this match, I would assume. And. Wait a minute, it looks like O'Malley had some, has something uh -oh. in his hand, but Too Quick countered him very quickly. He's got the cross face locked in. Cross face is applied. This could do it right here. We could have a brand new DCW heavyweight and television champion here tonight. O'Malley has got something on his hand, guys. He does, he does, but Too Quick has got him locked what? in. I don't, think, uh, I don't even think he's thinking about it right now. That's the worst part, but O'Malley... Close, close. Come on, too quick. You can pull so it out of there. So close to the ropes. This could do it within fingertip. He oh. rolls him right back out, though. Wow. Right back wow. out. And now too quick got him dead center in the ring. This could very it well is be it. With, guys. Is Steve O'Malley going to tap out? He's got that cross face locked in deep. And Steve O'Malley is looking rough right now. And he's, he's, pulling, he's pulling the referee's shirt. He pulled his shirt, now he's having to, uh, sorry, the referee having to tuck it in. And uh, Steve O'Malley has that, oh, and he hit him right across the head while the referee wasn't looking. Very smart, and now going for the cover, and that does it right there. Still champion.